Hey, today I want to talk to you about poison ivy, a noxious weed we have to deal with many times in our landscape. You know, it's planted by birds. They feed on the seed and then go land along a power line, a fence line, or even in a tree, and with one quick flick of the tail, it's planted and fertilized. Poison ivy is easy to identify. You can go by the old adage, leaves of three, let it be. Another characteristic is that sometimes the leaves have a little thumb on the bottom end of the two lower leaves, kind of like a mitten, if you will. But leaf form varies a lot, even on the same plant. So don't just memorize one particular form, but get an overall idea. It's easy to deal with in terms of control. If it's going up a trunk like this, you can simply cut off the vine somewhere at the bottom. It attaches to the trunk with these hair-like, root-like growths. And if you cut it off, everything above that dies. Then on the lower sprouts that come up, go ahead and spray or treat those. Now you can dig up poison ivy to discard it. That works quite well. You want to make sure and wear gloves and be careful. Don't burn it after you dig it up because the burning process will produce an oil in the smoke that will get into your lungs and do major damage. So be real careful with it. In addition to digging it up, the next option would be to spray it for control. There are a number of products that are on the market that are effective. They have names like brush killer or poison ivy killer. And you can even use the common herbicide glyphosate, which is found in Roundup and other products to control it. Spray late in the year, late summer to early fall, because that's the time of year when it'll move down into the plant and you'll get the most complete kill. With your common sense tip, with more information than you probably care to know about poison ivy, I'm Skip Richter.